Hi, this is Aaron from Sibling Rivalry, and today we're going to be making a CBD-based tequila mojito. We're going to be making a CBD-based mojito using tequila and this CBD elixir from Hydropothecary, which has now become Hexocorp. So the CBD will boost the calming effects of the alcohol and provide a medicinal after effect that will help with anxiety and pain. So let's get started. So we're going to get started with a few ounces of tequila. And I just have to make sure that I pour the tequila into the right thing. And you notice that I'm putting this over the shaker so that if I spill it, it doesn't spill all over the table, like in our photo video. Watch that <laughs> if you want a good laugh. So here we go. This will actually be my first time in a long time making a mojito. First time doing it with tequila and definitely first time doing it with CBD. I actually am a medicinal user of cannabis and this is actually my preferred method of consumption. This is very discreet and within about 40 minutes you start feeling all of the positive effects that you're looking for. All right, so now that we have that in there, I am going to take this mint that we got from the Click and Grow. Watch our last video if you wanna learn more about that. So I'm just gonna take the leaves, set them in there, and we're actually going to use the spoon here as a improvised muddler because we don't have a muddler yet. Looking at adding that to our mixology kit. So this may take a few seconds. Mm, it's got a nice mint smell coming off of it. All right, so we'll set the stems over there. I'm gonna put in two spritzes of this. So the cool thing about these, and maybe I shouldn't be advertising everything about cannabis on YouTube, but whatever, it's legal in Canada. So it actually has a little safety lock on it. So you press in a little tab and you rotate and then it just works like a little breath spray. So you just put a few spritz in here. There we go. And yeah, you can actually take this by uh, spraying it under your tongue. And it takes, like I said before, about 40 minutes for it to kick in. This is mint, which actually is going to boost the minty flavor of the mint leaves that we put in there. I just realized we got more mint, so. All right, so let's mix this up. And so I'm actually going to wipe this off. and get it to evaporate because I forgot to put the sugar in first. So here goes that. I swear I'm not high. Uh. I'll put in two, two small spoons of this. This is about a regular tablespoon size, I think. So if you're following along at home, two tablespoons of sugar, ideally without the oil and everything else being on the spoon already. I'm going to set that off site. We actually got some orange bitters to add a bit of a citrusy tang to the mojito. So I'm going to open this up and put this in. This is actually a Dillon's brand small batch bitter, which I believe they're done here in Ontario. Yep, they're actually done in Beamsville, Ontario. 
which is my grandparents actually live out that way. Fun fact. All right, let's put some ice in here. And I actually almost forgot we need some heavy citrus. So normally you would put in lemon juice or lime juice in a mojito, but we didn't have any on hand. We just have some cordial, which should work perfectly fine. And let's put that in there because otherwise it's pretty much just tequila. tequila! <laughs> so <laughs> nothing wrong with that. And I'm just kind of improving the amount here. So we'll set this off there, put this on here. And remember kids, assemble your full shaker before you start shaking. All right, ooh, it's nice and cold. All right, so let's give this a shot. Got a nice greenish yellow sort of tang to it. There's some bits of mint that are floating in there. With a mojito, you would serve it in like a martini glass or something similar, and you would do some garnishment with mint, or you could even use some salt in there. Uh, but yeah, we're just doing kind of bare bones today. So I'm going to give this a shot. Mmm, it's got like a nice citrusy smell, but it's not like an overpowering citrus. Mmm, that's really good. You can actually taste all of the, uh, the mint that we put in there. And the CBD oil actually adds a nice bit of a kick to it. Because it's like a potent peppermint oil that it uses for the CBD oil. That's really good. Well, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I am. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe and make sure to follow us so that you don't miss out on any future videos. We're going to do a few more of these cocktail videos and we're probably going to go back and revisit photo development and do some other fun projects and branch out in the future. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing.